All right, squad, I'm back with a quick rundown on what happened when I was able to get in 20,000 steps every single day. We're going to get right into it right after this intro. This is just a snippet of a five day total of what happened when I was able to log over 20,000 steps every day, which came out to be a little bit over eight miles every day. Estimated calories with my Fitbit, a little bit over 3,000. I consumed 1,800 calories. My calorie maintenance is 2,274 based off of my age and my activity level. So here are the totals from my Fitbit tracker. Day one, 20,815 steps. Day two, 20,381 steps. Day three, 20,509 steps. Day four, 20,522 steps. And day five, 20,515 steps. If you're getting your steps in on a treadmill, outside walking your dog on a leash, or on a power mill and not moving your arms, the motion detector might not be tracking your steps accurately. To help me get a more accurate step count, I took the wristbands off my Fitbit and placed my Fitbit in an ankle mesh pouch. There'll be a link in the video description if you're interested in purchasing one of these ankle bands. You also want to track how many calories you're consuming on a daily basis. You can do this by going to tdeecalculator.net. T-D-E-E stands for your total daily energy expenditure. To figure out your daily maintenance calories or calories you need to consume to lose body fat, you have to put in your age, your weight, your height, and your activity level. This will give you a breakdown of how many calories you need to consume per day. You will also find recommendation on how many carbs, protein, and fats to consume. Moderate carb days, low carb days, and high carb days. There's a link in the video description if you want to get your steps in by following one of my home workout videos. Just wear the pouch on your ankle and you'll be good to go. By combining my activity level and reducing my calories by 500 every day, I was able to create a deficit of over 1,000 every single day, which helped me lose one pound every day. 